was the first time retired U.S. Coast Guard Captain William Marhofer participated in a Pacific Islands conference. I'm very impressed. I'm, I'm just totally blown away by the broad spectrum of environmental sustainability topics that have been addressed. Uh, we've heard about using technology to reduce our environmental footprint while still allowing us to enjoy our air con. We've learned about uh, efforts to reduce invasive species like the dreaded brown tree snake and restore some of our uh, endangered endemic species here in the Pacific Islands. Um, we've learned about uh, sustainability initiatives, reducing the use of plastic bags, um, better use of our limited public utilities. Marhofer, who is also a district incident management and preparedness advisor, and today's closing keynote speaker, says he caught a glimpse of Guam from above earlier this week, a reminder of why work to protect the environment is so important. It's a beautiful, clear evening, and it's the best view of the island from the air that I've ever had. And it really shows this beautiful, lush green island surrounded by the blue Pacific, but it gives you the sense of how small and how isolated it is. And when you have islands like Guam that are so small and so isolated, you really get a sense for how fragile, how vulnerable they are. And that's what this conference is all about. Taking notes this week, Guam EPA spokesperson Tammy Jo Anderson Taft says Guam could easily implement some of the success stories our island neighbors shared, specifically American Samoa's use of dry litter on piggeries. This was a really great presentation because it talked about um, people who got sick from being in rivers from directly from pig waste basically and they talked about how when they started to do outreach and using a different method for piggeries which is dry dry litter systems that it significantly reduced the amount of, of um, bacteria that was in the river. Meanwhile political status was also a hot topic at this week's conference. That is of interest because right now Guam and all of the territories there's um, you know there's always the struggle between regulation and and uh, where we stand kind of and so that was a really interesting presentation because that is an issue that affects all of our Pacific Islands here that you know we have a little bit different status than the states and the Constitution applies a little bit differently. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco.